so I want you to picture an eight-year-old boy lying in the fetal position, crying on the bathroom floor. Eyes bloodshot red, nose broken, face, arms, chest all bruised. Hands shaking and trembling with fear and clothes that he will never grow into. Picture him with legs so weak they can no longer support his own body weight. Legs that were meant for walking but instead are used to protect his chest from those powerful blows from a 37 year old man which I've grown accustomed to calling master. Now, now picture an angel, like one from Navidad, with light shining beneath her wings at a halo so bright it outshines the sun. And this still doesn't compare to the beauty of my mother. Picture that angel picking up the spirit of the boy, crying on the bathroom floor and taking him to safety. But just as quickly as she's came, she's gone in the blink of an eye and the boy is still left alone, lying on the bathroom floor in the fetal position, crying teardrops of acid that mount the side of his cheeks from the lonely bottled up inside. Now picture the boy abandoned, all alone inside of a six story tall building that reads, Arizona Adoption Agency. Confused and unaccompanied, dragging his shadow alongside of him. Pissed off at that angel for leaving him there to grow up on his own. But on days like today, he often finds himself thinking of that angel, remembering her scent, her hair, the way her hands felt rubbing the outside of his face, the way her arms felt so perfect with comfortability and acceptance. But he's punched in the face by reality and buries those memories deep inside of that graveyard, run inside of his chest, and he smiles. Smiles like an envelope receiving good news. But there is no address to tell you where he's going, no return address to send him back to where he came from. It's scary. Like watching a little brother fall in love with a girl that plays target practice with his emotions. Like waking up out of breath inside of a room full of sulfur. His name? My name is Abel Wildman, and I'm the longest Prozac commercial known to man. I'm your illest, most horrific nightmare come true. When I speak, my words are like venom spewing in every direction, making you blind to the truth. Making you blind to another pretty boy with light skin. To leave you rubbing your eyes, thinking I was more like that clown at your child's fourth birthday party. But that's just it. I'm just a clown to everybody with a smile painted onto my face because I never grew into my own. But behind this smile, behind this pretty boy with light skin, is an eight-year-old boy lying on the bathroom floor crying his eyes out, whispering his secrets to his reflection because it's the only one listening, praying that one day he might actually feel alive.